Hey, what's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, today's video is going to be on San Jose, Costa Rica. I'm going to let you guys know what's going on with the bars there, the girls there, and the travel during the pandemic right now. So let's jump right into it, folks. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, guys. If you want to know about the girls in Costa Rica, Mexico, Cuba, Colombia, wherever, talk to me. You're in the right channel. All right, guys, jumping right into Costa Rica. First of all, I got some bad news. The world-famous Blue Marlin Bar is closed. And my friend Natalie that works there says that it's not going to reopen, that it's over, and all the girls from the Blue Marlin are going to be, most of them are, anyway, are going to be going over to the Sportsman's Club three or four blocks down the road, and that's where they're going to be working. So that's a bad deal because the Blue Marlin Bar was just as famous as the Adelita Bar in Tijuana or the old Papagayo Club in Laredo. Or Angie Lou's. I mean, that place was iconic and world famous for 40 years. And now it's gone. Bad news. Okay, guys. Jumping right into it. Costa Rica is slowly opening back up. All the places down at Gringo Gulch, that part of town, Paco Beach. But here's the thing. Costa Rica has some pretty strenuous travel restrictions right now. They're only allowing visitors from 23 states, okay? Now that's gonna be up to you to get online and see if your state's gonna qualify or not. They're definitely gonna check your driver's license, okay? They, and if your driver's license is not from the state that's approved, you're not getting in. Also, you're gonna to have to have a test within the next 72 hours of you getting on your plane that comes back negative. Now, I'm not gonna say what kind of test that is because YouTube's being funny about that word right now and they're demonetizing videos and things like that. But we all know what's going on with the pandemic in the world right now, okay? So, you gotta have a test. Also, it's mandatory that you have to have special health insurance. It is affordable. I talked to a really good friend of mine last night in Texas. He's a dual resident of Texas and Costa Rica. It only cost him $35 to go down there. The $35 was for a one week health insurance policy and that also included a $200 deductible, okay? So Costa Rica is opening back up and it's just not as wide open and on and cracking as it has been in the past. All right, guys, that's the update on Costa Rica. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, like my channel. I've got some more videos coming up about Mexico and Zona Norte, the Hong Kong Club, all that stuff. Any specific questions you guys might have, don't hesitate to send me an email, make a comment. I'll try to get back to you the best I can. Guys, until then, be safe, take it easy. I'll be back down across the border in a couple weeks, but right now it's just North Dakota and work, trying to make some money. All right, guys, take it easy, be safe.